Hey, welcome to Give Me Apps. You're at Mall, the number one independent app store. Today we're checking out Expire, the best food expiry controller by Andre Lindo. This is for the Android platform. This app is a simple inventory app that allows you to keep inventory of all the foods that you've purchased, food that you have, and keep track of when they expire or when they're on point and up to date. And you can scan barcodes and enter information like you could on most databases. But what makes this special is that it's very easy to use and it's very straightforward. No manual is required. You can get along with the app just fine the moment you download it. Take a look at the main screen. You have all products. You have up to date and expired. Self explanatory. All products will show you all products. Take a look at that cute icon over there. You have up to date. That'll show you what's up to date. And over here is what has expired. To add products, you simply tap on the plus icon. Now take a look at the bottom icons here. You have products, which is what we were looking at. Categories, take a look at some of these categories. You have steak, seafood, pet food, eggs, nuts, and seeds. Some of these are blocked because you need to uh, purchase the uh, in-app purchase. But even without the in-app purchase, you can create your own categories. You can see that we created one up here called steak. It says created 9-5-2018. That is today. We'll show you how to do that on camera so you know how to do it. We have steak. We can come up with veal. We'll just put that in there. And it's as simple as add, and boom, you are done. You can search through categories using the search function over here. Take a look at that. It is right there. We could put in veal. And if we do that, and we tap on uh, enter, it'll show us the product. We haven't entered the product and we're looking at categories actually. So that's how you search products. We'll show you that in a moment. And of course, you have stores. We added a store here. It's as simple as tapping on the plus icon. You can put in a store name. We put key food. And you can put in the number after that. We're going to make one up here. The one that I showed you previously is an actual number. So we'll do 555, 555, 5555. Just for kicks. Tap done. And we have two stores there, key food with the original number. And there's another key food right there. All right, so there, those are your stores. Of course, if I uh, do the search, you're going to be doing that for the product name. So keep that in mind. There's no products. Now we can add products. Take a look here. Now. This is where all the magic happens. This is where you're going to um, create your list of expired foods, uh, up-to-date foods, etc. And of course, you got a signal when it is expired. We're going to do this on camera. Here I have um, some potato rolls. All right, you see the barcode over here. And before I, eat, I type in any product information, I want to show you the barcode functionality. So I'm going to take the camera. And by the way, uh, it tells you, uh, it, it informs you, it gives you the prompt as to whether or not you want the app to make use of the camera. There we are. Let's get this on the barcode. And there it is. You can see that it scanned it in. I'll bring that up to the camera. You can see the barcode has been entered. I'm going to put it back on the platform over here. And from there, you can enter in the product information. We're going to do that right here on camera so you can see uh, what using the app would actually be like. We'll put it in. Potato rolls. That's the product name. And we have the price, uh, your style, you can choose the currency. I believe I paid $2 for this, so we'll just put $2. Uh, the tax, over here in New York City, it's 8.25. Quantity, I have one over here. You have your categories, so you can choose from your many categories that are here. All right? And um, I'm going to put it in the steak category, just because we created that category. It's actually bread. You see it says, uh, you have all your different products here. We're going to go with veal, even though it's not veal, because we just invented that category not too long ago. And then you have the date. And if I look for the, I don't believe there's an expiration date on this, so I'm going to make one up. Let's say it's 9-6. We'll just put it there. That's, it says that's today, actually. Uh, the reminders were removed because you changed the expiry date. All right? And you can choose the store. And we have key food. That's where we got it from. Uh, we'll change the date again. We'll make it the 7th. All right? The reminders are removed because you changed the expiry date. So keep that in mind. All right? So uh, once we're done, we tap on done. And uh, take a look here. Put up to date. There it is, potato rolls. It tells you you have two days left. All right? So you might be asking, why would you need an app like this? Well, you might be like me. I work, uh, you know, uh, sometimes 50, 60, 70 hours a week. You go grocery shopping and say, I'm going to make X, Y, Z. You get home. You're tired. You don't make it. And you might forget at some point that you bought certain products. Well, you can call up this app and take a look at what's um, still in great condition and um, edible and what is about to expire or what has expired. And as you can see, it says two days over there. Now, when you fill up this uh, product area, 
you'll see a myriad of expiration dates and um, status updates or statuses, whether it's up to date or it has expired. Guys, very easy to use. You can um, edit, you can duplicate, you can delete, and you can check out some details and take a look at what happens when we tap on details. You got everything, the details. Name, barcode, price, tax, category, quantity, store, created date, expiry date, and boom, there it is. Created date was today, 9-5. Expiration date is on the 7th. So, we spent uh, a good six minutes on this. Uh, we've walked you through all of the features. You can see how easy it is to use. This is called Expire, the best food expiry controller. Once again, this is by Angelino for Android. It's very easy to use, and it is a free install, so go crazy with it. We hope you enjoyed this. This is the Give Me Apps YouTube channel. We've reviewed Expired. If you are an app developer and you want to keep the full 100% of your download profits, Give Me Apps is the only app store that lets you do that. We hope you enjoyed this. Till next time.